This is N2 L E N with another quick video clip of the yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. I just look at what it's revival it of the one thing there. SDR Flex yeah, SDR 1000 the with the Roland Ederol FA66 sound card. We just made a change. We now are running of the Power SDR modified version by Darren KE9NS and Excalibur, the Russian ham, for the SDR 1000. What we did was we upgraded the computer. Uh, yesterday, when we initially installed this, we were running an older compact with a Pentium D processor, proprietary video, proprietary parallel port, proprietary firewire port, and proprietary video. Now we switched over to a, an older gaming PC, uh, which is uh, 24 gigs of DDR3 dual channel memory, an Asus uh, motherboard with an AMD3 Phenom 955 processor. The video card is a GeForce GTX 470 running in HD, and this is, uh, the resolution on the 50-inch LED monitor is 1920 by 1080 HD. And uh, without any adjustments of the resources, we're running in the low teens for a CPU. So, that, I mean, we're talking at least 40% uh, better, less CPU speed. And it just runs flawlessly. I mean, uh, I've run the, the Flex 5000 on this uh, modified 2.8, but for uh, bringing back the... I always loved the SDR 1000, which is why I never got rid of it. Um, a couple of quick things when you're installing. One thing I noticed that uh, I'm installing, I've had no issues. In this particular motherboard, it is, there is no proprietary parallel port. So I'm actually using a Rosewill R3, RC303 parallel port two serial PCI adapter. The only thing that you needed to do, this motherboard has proprietary firewire. Uh, IEEE 1394, so that wasn't an issue, but in order to uh, change from the default parallel port, you have to tell the Flex software what resource, and uh, we'll come in here and we'll show you this. Uh, here is the setup, and right in the config, you can see right up here, uh, the LPT address is not defaulted at uh, port 378. Uh, you go into the resources for the parallel port on the COM ports, and uh, this PCI port, the machine selected address E800. Make sure that when you're uh, changing parameters, you select apply and then uh, OK. Uh, all of the skins, the Power SDR skins, work beautifully. We come up here and we'll make some changes here so you could actually see uh, some of the changes. Come in here and we'll select uh, appearance. It's hard with the. And we'll select uh, blue 2. And we'll let you come up here and we'll let you take a look at it. You can see what it looks like. There you go. Let me show you how um, the uh, hand adapter works. Right now we're working, uh, oh this is only a uh, very, very tight hand adapter. You really come out so you can see the difference. There you go, it's one times, two times, 0.5.
and this right here is um, 192 kilohertz. It's from literally 3600 on one end to uh, 3780 on the other. And you could take a look at the CPU resources. Very, very low. It performs absolutely flawless. And we really didn't fine tune any of the resources to make it work even better. Like it'll work. It does work. It's a very, it's an unbelievable radio, actually. For so, for the money. With that said, uh, yeah, you know, uh, just a couple of other things. Uh, like I said, we're using Windows Seven Professional, uh, the DVD. Um, disc, that revision of the OS of Windows 7 32-bit professional had also Service Pack 1 pre-installed on it. Um, it when you, uh, I did download first, I installed the PowerSDL, the initial revision, 1.8.6, which downloaded uh, the uh, Microsoft Net Framework 1.0. When I installed the video drivers for the um, the GeForce GTX 470, that software downloaded Net Framework 4.0. When you install the latest uh, Power SDR 2.8.0.102 from uh, Excalibur's GitHub sub uh, site. The, it's a complete installer package that will automatically install Net Framework 4.5.2 and then the Flex Power SDR installer package. It works absolutely flawless and just a fantastic kudos to Darren and to Excalibur for reviving the SDR 1000 with the Ederol FA66 sound card. This is N2LEN, and we'll say best of 7-3.